Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We're here at, I forgot the name of the place, Fort Quonset, which will be the last tier four I need to get done to complete tier four. And then we'll have access to tier fives, which will be very, very good because tier five infestations are my favorite way to make ammo. So let's uh, get started, I guess. I don't have any stealth weapons, which is usually how I handle this POI. So this is going to be a mess, I think, uh, but I'll Probably be okay. Let me drink some tea. Anyone a feral? No. Great. I think there's a lumberjack coming for me though. Hey. Okay, so we've cleared the outside quite well there. Let's deal with this place. Oh, that's a fiddle. Ow. Oh, really? We woke up them as well? That's annoying. Let me get up here real quick. There's the fed all dead, at least. Let me load some regular shotgun shells. There's another fed all in there. Are there any of the rest of you fed all? Okay. loot bag here and the loot bag here hey actual fuel saver mod the one i got before was a reserve fuel tank run away who survived that how dare you okay so i think we've cleared the upper levels now we can make a baseball bat quality one great we can make a level one ak also not amazing let me eat some food to heal here, because this room can be scary. I hear a lot of running there. Yeah, I didn't time that very well. Why is there a radiated zombie? I suppose it is a tier 4 in the snow biome, that's a silly question. Fucking cop. There's a skill point. There, I think we're cleared now. Still have another room to do, but first, let's have a look at Fortitude. And I think Pain Tolerance would be nice, just to take less damage. Although I will have heavy armor, so it will only be so useful. And it's more useful here early on. A SWAT helmet. That's actually quite a lot better than my current helmet. So I'm pretty sure it's basically a steel helmet, but it's only got one slot. That really sucks. I'll take the damage resistance and I'll move my stuff to other limbs. In fact, I don't even need the water purifier, I will just keep the pocket mod. The water purifier I can just put on when I want to actually, you know, drink water. Alright, so let's break down this. It'll wake them up and I can get away before they swarm me. Oh, that's so many radiated soldiers, that sucks. I think my best bet would either be an explosive stealthily done or... Hmm. You know, I could probably throw a few of these in there without waking them up. And I hopefully won't damage the loot too much. It didn't kill any of them. Oh my god. Oh, 
Hopefully it softened them up enough though. Bloody radiated soldiers. Yeah, just eat all of my ammo, that's fine. All the loot survived at least. Some meds. Bunch more ammo. None of the ammo I need though. Handy land and a tools digest. Machine gunner and shotgun weekly. Tools digest and a bunch of shit I know and a sledgehammer book. Cool. Also another bookcase here with another fuel saver. Okay. Um right, so now I just need to unlock this. And I don't have any lock picks, so this is gonna take a minute, but that's fine. Uh, scrapping for fun, some lockpicks, another tools digest, some money, and some gloves. I think are, yeah, they're worse than mine, so that's not too helpful. Let me put these custom fittings on my steel armor there, though. Well, sorry, improved fittings, custom fittings are the other one. Let's head back to Bob and get my tier 4 complete, then. I don't know if he'll have tier 5s today, I doubt it. Depending on how they decide what quests I get today, based off of the fact I've not spoken to him today, and when I do speak to him... I'll be getting tier 4 complete, so it might give me tier 5s, I can't remember if that's how it works. Either way, I probably want to do infestations more than anything, just to get ammo. Obviously, it's a bit of a risk, because if you end up using more ammo than you get, then you're fucked, but usually that doesn't happen. Not in infestations, anyway. The smart thing to do would be to go in with a 9mm pistol and do infestations that way, that way I'd just use the cheapest ammo I don't care about and then only gain ammo. But I would then also have to be doing like tier 4 and tier 5 infestations with just a pistol I'm not specced for. But until that pistol even exists, this is all hypothetical. If I could get an SMG though, that would work. Hey Bob. Ooh, a steel sledge, okay. And for my quest reward, I've got a desert vulture bundle, a military armor bundle, food or ranged mods. Okay, so I don't want to use light armor. The food bundle would be nice, but I think... In the interest of what I just said, sort of having like a burner gun that just wastes ammo I don't need. Desert Vulture would be perfect for that. So let's grab that. Level 5 Desert Vulture, not bad. Not exactly what I'm specced for, but hey, it does a shitload of damage, doesn't it? Yeah, 100 damage, I mean, you can't go wrong with that as a, like a secondary weapon. I'm going to take the Iron Sledge, put all of its stuff on the Steel Sledge. But I'm going to keep the stone sledge because the nice thing about the stone sledge is you can just much faster than like that. So it's, it's good if you need a quick melee that's a lot lighter on the stamina. Uh, 80 versus 157 on the steel sledge. So it definitely is an upgrade. What quest do you have, Bob? First of all, got any special jobs? Trader Gen to the north. And he's got tier fours, but they are infested clears mostly. And I like that. So let's take that. And I'm going to go put some stuff down. But otherwise, that should be pretty good. So I've got a vulture for just wasting ammo that I don't need. And I've got a much better sledgehammer to help me not waste as much ammo as well. So let me go check my containers for ammo and put some of this stuff down. Okay, so I have a shitload of 44 Magnum ammo. But I really don't have much in the way of mods for it, but I'll put the semi-auto mod on, that'll give me a slight damage boost. And technically a fire rate boost. So let's go and do the tier 4 infestation. If I get those done today, I'll go and see Jen today, otherwise I'll just wait until day 10, they reset that day anyway. The next thing I need is a bike, like a motorcycle. Oh, this is tiny, it's going to be fast and it's going to be filled with like radiated and ferals, that's going to be... Absolutely nightmarish. Start that, check the mailbox. Machine gunner. Drum magazines. Perfect. I will need that later on in the game. Now I don't feel like doing this POI the way the game wants me to. So I'm just gonna do it the way I want to. A lot of zombies, I don't know where they are though. Are they in like the garage here? Ah, they are. Oh, radiated, really? Move away from there. She's so fast. 
Might load here, probably. Ooh. There we go, she's dead. I think the other one was a lumberjack, so I still don't want to test my sledgehammer on him. Okay. Anybody in here? Oh, no, I've been in here. Right, let's go upstairs. That's a lot of red dots. Hello. Run away. Whoa, a second. Oh, that was another white. Right, shotgun time. He dead? No. A mm, couple hits though. Back to the magnum. I don't want to waste too many shotgun shells, but that was a lot of very scary zombies. Some books here. Shotguns and fists. More books here. Medical and tools and some paper. Right, let's go into the basement. Oh, he didn't hit me. Well, I've pissed off more of them in the PY. God, move a little bit faster, jeez. The rest are stuck downstairs. Hello? clear. Right, where's the loot? Here we are. Vested cash with a bunch of shotgun shells, so I definitely made shotgun shell profit here. I actually think I made a profit on magnum ammo as well, so that's nice. <laughs> and then in the reinforced chest, we got tools digest, weighted head schematic, and a full auto mod, which is going to be useful later on. Let's go see what the reward is. We got that done pretty quickly for a tier 4, though. To get a tier 5 complete, you would need to do 7 tier 5s or the equivalent of nine tier fours. So basically, if I can do a couple of tier fours, it would basically reduce the amount of tier fives I would need to do to get tier five complete. And it might even be faster time wise to just do tier fours. Because I feel like you could probably do nine tier fours a lot faster than seven tier fives. Especially if we're talking full tier fives and not tier five investations, which you can do a couple of every day. Here you go, friend. 44 Magnum. Um, none of these are very good. These boots are slightly better than what I have, but only by like 0.3%, so I'll just take the magazines and take another infested clear. Journey's end. Cool. Shotguns, armor, electrical traps. Cool. Level 30. Skill point in, more pain tolerance. Alright, let's go. Oh, is it on the other side of that mountain? Fuck you, game. Here we are. I'm not very familiar with this POI, so I'm just gonna walk in and kill as many people as possible. That's a lot of ferals. Bunch of books in this area. Nothing I need there though. Nothing I need here. And paper. Well that's disappointing. Armored up shotguns. Flashlight mod and tactical warfare fists and handguns. I saw more books though. Tools digest. Cool. Uh, I guess let's go up. Oh well this is weird. Excuse me, sir, that second hit wasn't animated. So dishonorable, doing hits that don't have actual animations, so I can't tell you're gonna do it. Damn zombies. Always cheating. Oh, hey. There's a vulture in here? Oh. 
That's where that guy was. Guess the vultures outside. Yes, they were. Uh, level three iron helmet. Nah, it's still worse than the SWAT helmet. Anyone in here? Oh, definitely someone. Hello. Oh, there's the end loot. Okay. Follow me up here if you even can. Nope, I fell. Didn't have enough momentum, apparently. Hello, biker. And here's the end loot. I have to clear the basement still, but at least I get the loot. Ergonomic grip mod, which I will put on something for sure. And a bunch of ammo of various kinds. Made profit on all of them. Plus, some more ammo there. Demolitions magazine. And a bunch of containers and the end loot. Tools digest and more tool parts. Armored up in sewing kits. And tools digest and some gas. And then, did I bring lockpicks? It's probably easier. Nah, they're in my bike, I think. That's fine, I'll just bash this open. It's relatively fast. Probably takes about as long as the lockpicks do anyway. Right, one second, I'm hungry. Did I bring food? Not on me, but there's a food vending machine downstairs, weirdly, I think. A uh, scope, a beaker, and a lucky looter, which gives me more bullets. No, more brass in loot, sorry. The scope I will put on my magnum, because I just like doing that, and it'll give me more damage with it. Uh, yeah, I think... I think it was in here, the uh, food vending machine I saw, but I am moving quite quickly and it is a bit of a blur, so maybe it was the last POI. Here we go. Eat all this, and let's continue. Okay, the floor breaks. Is that a working drinks vending machine? No. That would be really lucky. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Well, it's a good thing I went and got all this ammo first. Let's take this outside. It's too foggy in here. Not that it's much better out here, but I can at least see further. Also, I only take 15 damage per hit from Ferals now, so that's nice. It'll still be 30 from, like, Feral Bikers, though, so I still have to be careful. A couple of those run up on me, I'd be dead very quickly. Okay, we got some more to deal with. Hey, uh, fire axe and some food and water. Okay, and some nine mil. I was he the one guy that decided not to make this quicker? What a dick. Let's go see what reward I get. Oh, good, there's a dire wolf sitting on my bike. Leave me alone. No, oh, fuck off. Okay, a ratchet, a lever action, or some worse gloves, or ah, military stealth boots. I don't really care about that. Let's take the ratchet, because I will need a better harvesting tool. Maybe, can I get this done? Possibly? Let's give it a shot. I need to go put some loot away, though. Definitely not getting the reward for this one today, but... I don't know, maybe I can get it done. Right, let's go and see if I can get it. That would put me up to 12 points out of 35 towards the end of Tier 5. Or the equivalent of two and, like, a half Tier 5s done in one day. Which is solid progress. Alright, here we are, another large kind of cabin lodge thing in the woods, apparently that was just all the rage around here. Let's get in there. Oh, there's zombies on the outside. The rude. Skill point. More pain tolerance. If I can get a floor cleared per hour, then we'll be good. Another bloody feral tourist. Mm. 
wouldn't want me to have ammo by the end of this now, would we? Seriously, another one? Okay. Then we come out here and there's more shit to kill, I assume. Oh no, we go in here. Oh, that's a feral biker. Frog gun time. Oh good, he slowed by the shotgun, that helps. Okay, first floor I think is clear. Ground floor, I forget. I don't even know which one the British people are supposed to say anymore. Do the Americans say ground floor or do we say ground floor? Who even fucking remembers? Right, this room is a pain in the ass. Oh, would you fuck off with these? One second. Armored up. Right, I remember this room being fucking pain in the ass, so let's just get it over with. Rude. Okay, let's go up the stairs. End loot room, get everybody activated, and then run outside. Hey. Oh, that's a lot of you. Almost done, though. Here's the loot. Ah yes. Certainly a shotgun shell profit at least. Let's go warfare. Another armoured up. Single armour Pokemon, I don't even think I can use that. And hammers. Right, let's bash this open. I'm not going to get back to the trader in time, but we'll have a quest reward waiting in the morning and we'll be three out of nine quests done. I'll probably do two more that'll take me to 20 points worth of questing and then I'll do three tier fives and that'll get me tier five complete. Uh, let's see, Handyland, Sharp Sticks, some mods and ammo. Let's go home. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to make it in time. So in the morning, I'll get that quest reward. I'll check the traders for anything good. And I'll see if I can do at least two more tier fours, if not a tier five infestation. I don't know if there's going to be any nearby though. But I will see you guys in the morning. All right, so it's the next day. I have a bunch of shit to sell to the trader. Let's see what quest reward we get first though. Hey, Bob. I'll take the custom things. Those are very useful. They give me the maximum mobility. Do you have any jobs? They're all very far away. What about tier fours? Ah, uh, they're not the best because they're still a kilometer away. Well, maybe we'll just check traders today then. What do you have, Bob? Motor tools, the large tank mod? Meh, maybe. Two pipe bombs I will take though. Okay, so that's a disappointing selection of quests, but we can check other trader bobs who will also have the quests. Yeah, we have 40k dupes now. Uh, and when we're checking those other trader bobs for quests, we can also check their inventories. So where's the nearest next trader bob? There is one there and one there. All right, I'll head over there then. All right, here we are at the other trader bob. Let's see what he has. He has pretty much nothing. Wonderful. Why would this... Why was it so good at the start, and now they've all downgraded massively? Maybe next time. Let's take a quest. Travel, Tier 5, infested clear 500 meters away. Friend and 
Oh, Motel Zombona, that's a fucking nightmare of a POI, but we can do it. Uh, I do want to visit the other Trader Bob first, just to see if he has anything good, because I don't want to have to come out further if there's nothing there. He also might have a tier 5 that could be worth doing nearby as well. Is he really a kilometer away? Doesn't look like it, but okay. Alright, here's Trader Bob number 3. Let's see what we have here. He's got a magazine extender, I'll get that from my vulture. Um, bunch of pipe bombs, which I do need. An anvil might be worth my time. Mini bike handlebars, I mean, it would be an upgrade if I could get a mini bike, it just doesn't feel worth it. I'll take these vehicle adventures just in case I get more. Not a lot of money after all. Let me get that sweatshirt for the die as well. Really bad luck on these, because Trader Bob usually has a lot of good stuff. And let me put that magazine extender on there. You got any good quests, Bob? He has his own infested clear. Let's do that. Okay, here we are at Judy Witch. Now, I'm not going to do this one the way the game wants me to, because this POI is scary. I see a dire wolf is going to be a problem, so I'm going to kill it before it becomes a problem. Skill point. Um, well, Let's get some well insulated. I don't think I've ever actually taken this perk. And I don't know if it'll help at all. Didn't seem to initially. Does it give you 15% less food and water when overheating or cold? Eh. Decent plus 10 extra cold resist. I'm up to 36. Not fantastic. I somehow have higher heat resist. That's just annoying. Are, are my bee doos terrible? No, I just don't have an amazing jacket. But the college jacket has like 10 points of cold resist. Why is my heat resist so good? Hang on. I've got two, nine, nine. So it should only be 20, plus 10 from the uh, the perk. So I should have 30 heat resist, but I have 40. Do I have... Wait, insulated lining is cold resist, right? Right? <laughs> Let me take that off. Yeah, it is only affecting cold resist. Why the fuck is my heat resist so high? When I have all this shit for cold resist, I have two cold resistance mods on, and I have three pieces of armor, uh, clothing, sorry, that have solid cold resist, where you have 12, 8, 8, 28 plus 10, should be about 38 plus another 10. Yeah, my cold resist is fucked. <laughs> Would anyone be surprised to learn that it doesn't work correctly? I mean, uh, look at the game we're playing. <laughs> It might be working and I'm just miscalculating it though, but still. And I'm deliberately going for cold resist, and my heat resistance is accidentally higher, something seems wrong. There's a bag there. Hello. Some food and shotgun ammo. Cool. Let's break this down. By the way, I'm doing this to skip to the end loot because then I'll get a load of ammo to help me clear the rest of the POI. Forgot to mention that there. Let's break this. That'll piss them all off. Then we want to come up here. Most of them should choose to go to this door here. Place a couple of spare pipe bombs. And then I'll use my... Hmm, maybe I should let them just break it. A couple of them are still alive, but that definitely softened them all up for me. There we go. And then the end loot is here. You get shotgun turret bundle, which I'm going to open for the shotgun shells. You get 300. And just all the ammo. See, these are way better for shotgun ammo than uh, tier 4s, because you get the chance at those bundles. Uh, farming. Handy land. Some random parts of various things. I put that weighted head on something? I actually don't think I can. I can put it on the stone sledgehammer, I guess. I don't need it, but to get more shit, then I'll open this. Uh, let's see. Scrapping for fun, a thing I already know. A leather hood I don't need. Some ammo, sellables, meds, all that good stuff in a scope. Well, let me eat that beef ration just to be able to carry everything. It's not like I don't need food, so let me dump some stuff in my bike. I think I left loads of stuff in here, though. Yeah, that's not ideal. Let's see, um, one aloe cream can fuck off. Give me a minute here. 
another reason I need a motorcycle, clearly. Just so I can carry all this shit from these jobs, because look, the end loot is just filled with that much fucking ammo. Right, let's go clear the main body of the PY now. I have 500 shotgun shells to do it with if I need to. Radiated guy, really? Ow. He only did 12 damage now. Pain tolerance is doing its job. Got enough bullet sponge there, game. Oh, hello, medical cabinet. Medical journal, cool. Ooh, coffee, that'll give me cold resist, hopefully. Not that it's really affecting me right now. I like giving myself ways to run out of this place, because there's usually scary, scary things in here. Yeah, like that. Ooh. Really? Did I kill that one biker? I must have done. Or he'd be punching my head off right about now. Do a similar thing here. Really stuck on that window. Okay, I hate this room because you get caught on the ladder, so let's go up and then immediately right back down. Let's see, are they gonna go for the ladder or are they gonna go for the window? Looks like they're gonna go for the window. Or not the window, the massive hole in the wall, I suppose. Blew a torch off of there, apparently. <laughs> Still not clear? Oh yeah, there's the upper area in the garage here that I forgot to clear. That will only take a couple of seconds, probably. Oh, there's a bunch of lumberjacks that have moved in. Read that hammer book. Is that one, like, climbed up there? What a weird guy. He has! Head back to other Bob. Get a quest reward. A tier 5 quest reward, no less. Probably be shit or the best thing ever. We'll have to see. Yep, yeah, that is the best thing ever. That'll do. <laughs> Thanks, game. Very cool. Right, I'm gonna get rid of the stone sledgehammer now because I am carrying three guns. I need to not use the sledgehammer. I will just use a gun. So I got a skill point there. Um, More well insulated. Let's see. So it should grant me more. Cold resist, right? Yeah, we're up to 57 on cold resist. So it seems like that's now completely changed from the last time I looked at it. And the only difference is the perk. Bob, do you know what the fuck is happening? Because I don't. Anyway, got another tier 5 hearts rent a car. Sure. It's a laggy one, though. Probably have time to do it. Do I have any 762 on me in here? That's kind of annoying, but I mean, I'll use what I have just for the fun of it, but you know. The one time I don't have like 900 762 in my back pocket, really. Well, it'll probably stop me from summoning a million screamers at least, so that's nice. 
the next thing I need is a motorcycle, obviously. But other than that, I need a full set of steel armor and a auto shotgun. And then I need to put drum mags on both of them. And then, boom, I have one. And it's day 10. Hey, right, is that a bookstore? Ah, it is. Let me mark that. I'm not playing a very book-focused uh, playstyle. Or I'm attempting to not play a very book-focused playstyle. But I feel like it's going to force me to do it anyway. Um, but if I do need books, I know where to come. Although it's a slightly shittier POI, so it won't give me that many. Oh yeah, I'm feeling the lag today. 25 FPS. Right, where's the end of this place? I like taking out the end of tier 5 infestations quickly. It is. I need to remember, what size is the button on to make this a lot easier on myself? It's seemingly not on the left side, so let's try break the right side. It's not on the right side either. Well, I'll just start the fight, I guess. Oh wow, that could have feral in like two hits. Someone broke something up there, question mark? Hello. Well, I need to break this down anyway if I'm going to get in here, so let's just do this. Oh, this frame rate is just disgusting. Is this not the end loop? Oh, it is. I'm not going to be able to carry any of this shit anyway. Security camera bundle, how fucking dare you? Uh, can I put this on here? No, I didn't think so. Let's check this ammo pile. Oh, hunting rifle, ooh. I have the carry capacity to just be taking those things. Didn't bring a lot of picks. Cool, I'll just bash open. Here we go. Tools Digest. Damn, the end loots really are dog shit, aren't they? Thank god for infested quests. They make questing actually, like... Well, questing was already good, but they make the loot in POIs good. It's a shame you have to quest to get them, though. Which defeats the purpose. Let's eat the sham chowder. And let's eat the southern farming. Right, let's go clear the rest of this POI now that I have a bunch of 762 as well. actually an atrocity. I have a gun that can one-shot headshot on insane difficulty on day 10, and once I have a drum mag, it'll have 120 bullets in the magazine. Don't you just love quests? Feral. Out of nowhere. Another one. Hang on, there's books over here. Armored up. I'll get a hole. Really in the downtown area, aren't we? Bloody snow biome. More of you, hurry up! What place is to be? I'm not here to play Call of Duty Zombies, come on. Trader Jen over there? Do I know her? No, I don't. I should go and mark that later. A little library area. Let me check these bookshelves. Paper. Hammers. Paper. Mod I know. Tactical warfare. And. Shotguns. Would you guys fuck off out of there? It's so annoying. Who 
would think it was the wasteland at night. Another skill point. Uh, I don't even know. Get some iron gut. There's a bunch of books here too. Vehicle adventures. This will be able to make a mini bike soon regardless of what I get from the traders. And it costs almost nothing to make one, so I'm getting it for free, sure. It will at least be an upgrade. It's a screamer. I don't think she got a scream off, so that's good. There we go, we're done. I really doubt I'm going to get back in time to uh, get the quest reward today, though. Oh, don't break your leg. Cool. I'm going to go see that Trader Gen. See if it is actually a Trader Gen. Because uh, traders are good to know. Problem is I don't actually remember what d direction I was looking. I think it was this way. Yeah, I see a church over there. So if there is one, it will be there. And I might get to check her inventory before she closes. And she might have, like, a chemistry station, which would be nice. Nah, it's just a random church on a hill. That's fine. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... Let's see. I think you can turn in Trader Bob quests to any Trader Bob. So I think I can just go back to the normal one and hand this in. If not, it's not the worst thing in the world to have to cycle like another hidden game hour back here. But yeah, that we will have to wait for tomorrow because the trader's about to close anyway. We're making really good progress on tier 5 complete though and I have a M60 which is obviously amazing. I mean it's level 6, what more do you want? It's one-shotting basic zombies with headshots. It's just a matter of how ridiculously fast can I get everything else that I need. But that's all going to have to wait for the next episode. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series and in the meantime... Special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.